Hey YouTube, what's up? This is the Reluctant Navi back again. And another video to bring to you news and views, views of the news. First, let me shout out to everybody. Hola, good dog. Oi to the bang. Vasas los bonjour, mes amis. Kedu balni. Bawani. Sorry about that. Konnichiwa. Ni hao ni hama. Sani bonani. Jumbo habarigani. Assalamu alaikum and shalom. Um, and I'm going to say good nabin out there out in Deutschland. And boy, noche out there in um, Rio. All right, so I'm back again. And look, dudes, brothers. All right, and, and on this one, I'm talking to all black men because, all right, I've, I've always been serious. But, I mean, look, we have somebody that means our murder and destruction. All right. To you sisters, you got to vocally let us know who you are. Because without us knowing who you are, we are going to have to assume the worst of you. Understand what I just said. To you sisters, you got to vocally let us know who you are. Because without knowing who you are, we're going to have to assume the worst. And this is how we know who you are. The side that you choose is the side of the good black man. You stand up in support of the good black men. One of the biggest problems that you black women have is you look, you listen to a video like mine with all the stuff that I, like I'm about to show you now. And then you say, well, that's not me. If it wasn't you, then you would come out, brother, I see what you're saying. And I, along with you, am not going to stand for that. But no, a lot of you sisters coming up, oh, you don't need to be talking about that. All right, then you're the demon and devils just like the rest of them. Understand this, brothers. If a sister mm -hmm. comes up and the first thing that comes out of her mouth where I don't wear weave, I don't wear makeup, so you can't say all oh, sisters, then she's one of them. If she says, I don't wear makeup, I don't have weave, um, and I see you doing that, why are you generalizing? All right, then she's one. All right, because only an idiot understand um, would not understand children in grade school understand generalizations. They know that generalizations are not all inclusive. That's why you generalize. It's because you understand that there are people that don't fit what you're talking about. So you make a generalist general statement like black men are fast. Black men can dance. We all know that one Negro that can't clap or dance to save his life. Okay? We say black men aren't athletic. Yeah, we seen them 300 pounders. They ain't running two feet unless you got some fried chicken 10 feet at a, at a table. All right? All right, so we can say that. But those are general statements. Right? It's a statement that a sports Oh, man. See, I had almost remembered his name and then it slipped my head again. So I know you're going to help me on this, Dwight. But there was a um, in the 70s, a sports announcer for ABC that talk about the athleticism of black men. And he said he said on TV, they are more athletic and people are like, oh, you're being racist. OK, now, because he was a racist pe person. Um, he understood a truth and he was just telling the truth. He, and he wasn't being racist. And some of the time racists are telling the truth. All right. It's what makes them racist because they understand some truth. All right. You got to be able to separate what they understand as the truth from what they use as propaganda. All right. They have some true fears. That if black men get themselves together, all right, our strength outweighs theirs. They understand this. What they don't understand is black men choose to live in peace on purpose. We're not worried about world domination. The only people that was concerned about that was white men, but they don't understand that because they, as white men, are concerned about world domination, and they make the mistake as white men of thinking that everybody thinks like them while getting everybody to think like them.
that don't. All right. So that's enough about them. Our black women are worse. Here's another reason black men should stay away from black women. Right. They are aborting black males. The black women are aborting black males specifically. They are going around on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter and getting together with the other black women in a concerted effort to abort black males only. All right. A dude um, wrote this out. He said, um, aborting black males, the black woman knew jihad. Right? Then he put exhibit A and B. Please continue. This is from Naomi Lovesick, right? Please continue to kill these niggas. Why on earth would anyone want to give life to you? F y'all. Right? She writes again. The black woman is cursed because she gives birth to what everybody, everyone hates, and that's the black man. I see why these black women are aborting you useless niggas. Black men, you ain't never been SH. All right, this is an ignorant black woman that don't know, know history. They don't hate black men. They fear us. Everybody fears us because secretly what we're finding out is their women desire us. They understand that we are athletically superior to all other races in many ways. And our intellect is superior. We are good at being geniuses at what we like. We just don't like what white people like. All right. They got this thing, Black Lives Don't Matter in a Womb on YouTube right two of them so i put it up here i think this is the guy's uh channel youtube channel right so i put it up here so that y'all could go check it out he goes yes this is a black woman new war against black men and black society it isn't enough that she already aborting over um 1800 unborn children per day in the u.s alone now she has set her sights up upon specifically killing unborn black males. Of course, this is straight out of the feminist handbook and is um, and why wasn't I surprised to see this already a growing trend amongst femi white feminists? Right, the, the author goes to say, hey, don't forget to get those thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. And when you subscribe, click that bell and share the videos and comment. And my donation link will be in the description box. Right, the United States Black, uh, this is Wikipedia. All right, and I wanted to put this down here to let you know that it was on Wikipedia, right? In the United States, black genocide is a is a conspiracy conspiracy theory, excuse me, conspiracy theory which holds that African Americans are the victim of genocide instituted by white Americans. The decades of lynchings and, and long term racial discrimination were. For, um, first formally described as genocide by a now defunct organization, the Civil Rights Congress. In, uh, in a petition to the United Nations in 1951, Malcolm X talked about black genocide in the early 60s. And the reason why Malcolm X was killed at the time he, what, he was killed is because the day later, he was going to go and bring this case to the United Nations, black genocide, um, United uh, and um, showed that the United States was guilty of black genocide, right? And so Lyndon B. Johnson had him killed um, using the Nation of Islam, of course. 
right? Uh, um, citing the long-term injustice and cruelty by whites against black. After President Lyndon B. Johnson pushed through his war on poverty legis legislation, including funding the, um, of the pill for the poor in a mid-1960 family planning, family planning birth control was said to be black genocide. At the first Black Power Conference held in July 1967, in, um, uh, all right, so the Black, at that conference held in July um, 1967, all right, they said um, that birth control was Black genocide. And that's why most of the places for birth control was put in the Black community. In 1970, after abortion was more widely legalized, some black militants um, named abortion specifically as part of the conspiracy theory. Most African-American women were not convinced of a conspiracy and rhetoric about um, race genocide faded. However, in 1973, media revelations about the decade of government-sponsored compulsory sterilization led some to say that this was part of the plan for black genocide. And this is according to Wikipedia. So black men, we need to leave this alone. You need to stop going to these strip clubs. You need to stop um, talking to women that even present themselves like this. Look at the head. If they got weave on, leave them alone. All right. If they these, um, you know, pro-black, black women that are talk to anybody, white men, they say, oh, it don't matter who you love. Leave them alone. Let the white men have all of them. All right. We need to leave them alone. Right. Again. Um. Naomi loves it. She say black women is cursed because she gives birth to what everyone hates. And that's the black men not understanding that these ignorant black women um, don't know that everybody, once you leave the United States, love the black man. And the most hated creature on earth is the black woman. And it isn't really because of her looks because the black man still like this. Right. But it's because of her mouth and her mindset. People see her as destructive. No one wants to be with any kind of creature that would kill their own on purpose. Right. Chinese, Japanese, they see that black men ain't SH. Right. They see that and they see this coming out of the mouth of a black woman. She lost all credibility with them. All right. When they see a black woman saying, please continue to kill these niggas, why in earth would anyone want to give life to you if all of y'all, one, they see a hypocrite, right? But they see nothing but a murdering demon, right? Now, the black woman has a serious problem. Black women are incapable of setting their own trends. Remember what I stated before of how black women are envious of white women and how they have set white women up as their gold standard, right? The black women did that. You know it by the weave and the makeup and stuff. Sisters used to not wear weave and they used to not wear makeup. And remember the video where I put up um, the white people used to have afros and get permed to have afros to look more like the black men and the old school black women, right? And now you got the black women looking, trying to look like the white women, and you still got the white man trying to be like the black man. Right? Ain't nobody trying to be like the black woman. Everybody's trying to be like the black men. Oh, yeah? Look up a, um, look on YouTube at dub stepping. Now, you know that came from black men. You have Japanese doing it, Chinese doing it. You have everybody dub stepping. Right? Everything that black men create. People follow. Nobody follows the black woman in anything they do. They the black woman follows them, right? The this black woman has become a laughing stock of the world, and it seems that everything she does is a direct copy from somebody else's camp. Black men, you need to understand the reason why black women are now taking this route because you are beginning to walk off the plantation. You are beginning to say enough is enough. And you are re realizing that you deserve better and can do much better for yourself. This is the direct threat, not only to black women's position of state employment, keeping black men and black society broke, 
but also by you walking away from the black woman, their state benefits and government threats are now under serious threat of removal. If the black man walks away from black women and decide not to F with them anymore or F them anymore or create children by them anymore, all right, then they're going to have to really compete with the white woman for the white man. But nobody wants them is because nobody want to pay child support for 18 years to such a vile and disastrous thinking piece of crap that has become the black woman. Now, you sisters, pay attention to that. If you are our sisters, you will stand with us or you'll want to unite with us as sisters but you got to humble yourself and you got to repent for all this damage you caused in the black community i don't hear none of that from sisters all right i hear uh, it from a few but it seemed like um a lot of y'all are trying to have it both ways and there is no two-way street on this right black women women and sisters let me let you know black men have awakened all right and the only people that run around and say we still must be with the black woman are the ones that's running game on you the ones that um don't really got much going for themselves or the ones that are too in the hot from the last black woman they got um with the birth control and everything i mean not birth control with um child support and everything so they can't really get with anybody because all their resources are tied up but once they get free, let's see their talk then. All right. So the only dudes that's saying that are the dudes that's still in bondage to the black woman. Well, not to the black woman, to the white man system via the black woman. You wouldn't pay somebody who is not doing their job or whose position is no longer valid because you black men are being beginning to exercise other options. The black woman is now re, um, facing redundancy and she is uh, running scared. If she doesn't have a field of black men to manage, then how is she going to receive payment from the state? All right. By the way, by black women embarking on a mission to abort black male children, they are actually speeding up the um, approach of the redundancy process in long-term future there will be no black men for them to rule or lord over because they will have abort them aborted them in the past and this is how stupid black women are they don't understand when they're doing some evil st stuff to damage their own selves right and he goes on to say oh dang i just said that do you see how stupid this modern day black woman is? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> All right. And how she never thinks about it, thinks anything through. The genocidal um, children murdering organ, organization called Planned Parenthood was started as a Jewish Nazi um, eugenist by, by the name, by a Jewish Nazi um, eugenic, eugenist by the name of Margaret Sanger. So I've talked about her a lot, right? Now, it was made known that even though Sanger, a close friend of Hitler, wanted to keep it secret that she had an agenda in place to exterminate black folks completely, she referred to blacks, blacks as human weeds. Search engine Margaret Sanger, Sanger quotes, and he's right. There's a lot she had, a lot more she had than that, and stated that religious and community leaders within a black society should be used to bring extermination process to fruition. Fast forward to 2016. Now we have black women who are willingly and happily fulfilling Singer's dream that they cheerfully hope, um, no, oh, that they cheerfully hop, skip, and jump into abortion clinics all over the U.S. and other Western countries with smiles on their faces. If Martin Sanger was alive today, the black woman would immediately run to her and worship her, kiss and wash the feet of this woman. Black women are already implementing this black male abortion policy. The black female um, Uber, um, YouTuber Brooklyn Blue is a strong advocate of this um, regime and has made it known in no uncertain terms. All right, that would be Brooklyn Blue. Blue down there to your right by the way black 
which known as Crystalline Kerosene, close friends with the reprobate Brooklyn Blue, which gives you even a deeper understanding as the disjointed mindset of the girl who swirls. That's Crystalline Kerosene up to your left. Brooklyn Blue down to your right, Kristen Carrison up to your left, all right? Black men, you need to wake up. These black women are satanic to the core. They love evil, um, evil work. They use God, the Bible, and Christianity to cover so that they can continue their wicked works unabated and unchallenged, all right? And this is the website of his, right? I inform you Negro, um, you in Negro Wars that this modern day black woman, this is his book, Negro Wars. Modern day black woman is nothing short of a cold blooded killer. She enjoys spilling the blood of others, especially the innocent. Hence her blood lust for murdering unborn children. If you go to my post where I talked about 12 reasons why black men should abandon black women. So that's another one on YouTube, I'm guessing. All right, 12 reasons why black men should abandon black women. You will see comments from a black feminist, lesbian blo blogger by the name of N. Libert, Libert to Sunline. All right, so N. Libert to Sunline. Right. In Liver Two Sunline has, has also made it known that her lesbian partner partner have already murdered an unborn child simply for the fact that the sex of the baby was male. And again, um, oh, he says again, do not believe for a second that black women are merely talking about killing unborn black males. They are actually carrying out this agenda as we speak. Um, the only time black women are happy is when they're inflicting death, destruction, pain, misery, and disease, and suffering upon others. Remember I said in Genesis all the punishment that comes to black women? And, the, and I said that um, her life should be complicated, right? Um, hold on. What did, how did I say that? Well, I'll get back to it in a minute, right? But let me continue with, with what he's saying. Um, black men, at the end of the day, there are plenty of other women around the world who do not have an issue with you bringing forth any child on your behalf, male or female. Stop chasing after these bloodthirsty, murdering, satanic, devil-worshipping black women in the United States. I added in the United States. All they do is swallow, is wallow in witchcraft, dark wisdom, black magic, and everything else evil. They are wicked individuals whom have, I have already demonstrated at the beginning. All right, which I have already demonstrated, hate you with a passion. All right, so that's what he had to say, that these black women hate you with a passion. And I'm here to tell you that was my thing, too. And and people had a problem with me calling them evil. Right. And the problem people had is I call it as I see it. If I see evil, I'm going to call evil evil because it's evil. All right. And as you know, I define these things according to the scripture. Scripture say is evil. I say is evil. The most high say is evil. I'm going to say is evil. Right. Um, I have no problem with understanding. I have no problem with letting go. All right. And I think this is the part of the problem that black women have. Right. I understand when somebody don't love me. I understand. Black women don't even a black woman that like you. Right. There's no love there. Like the uh, like the one I was telling you about uh, a nice looking dark sister. Don't know how to love a man. Right. Um, she'll do what she want to do but won't do what you need, right? She calls me, hey, da -da 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 -da. it's what she wants to do, but she won't do what you really need. Why? Why don't black women do that? Because they really don't care. They really don't. 
All right. And so I started to understand this. And a lot, I know a lot of brothers um, are starting to realize this. A lot of brothers that were against me now are looking at me and they're like, oh, dang. Uh, he had a point. Now, let me um, look at this. Um, with, let me uh, find this real quick that what I'm trying to tell you. Remember, I put in, um, when I looked in Genesis, right? And I said, Genesis third chapter. And I said, black women were supposed to have a few things, right? Genesis 3 and 16, he said to the women, I will greatly increase your sorrow and your concep conception. Black women, without the black man, you are going to have nothing but sorrow. And you are going to have to deal with the most high because of your murdering ways to the black man. All right. You are going to be judged. And the person that's going to judge you is your white devil that you love so much. All right. Now, during the debates with Clinton and stuff, um, This was Wednesday, November 25th, 2015. Um, True Meyer said, more black babies aborted in New York City than born. All right. Cynthia Meyer on Saturday, November 14th, tweeted in response to Democratic presidential debate. Cynthia Meyer says more black babies were aborted in New York City than were born. So what happened is this opened up Super Cynthia Meyer's comment for fact checking. And who did the fact checking? PolitiFact. All right. The reason why they did it, because it was the, the campaign. And as you know, during the campaign, they say, they'll they'll say, let's see how much is there this is true. So they fact checked her. So this is what they did. They asked the question: Are abortions by black women in New York City outpacing births? All right. Now, this is according to PolitiFact. Figuring out the answer to this question proves rather simple. The first place we w uh, went was that 2013 report, the most recent data available, which provides exhaustive breakdown of birth statistics in New York City. The agency lists the pregnancy outcomes by race, ethnicity, as well as by borough type of birth, i.e. live birth, C-section, premature, and health of the mother. According to the report, in 2013, black women accounted for 29,007 terminated pregnancy, representing almost 42% of all abortions in the city, even though black women constitute 13% of the female population. That same year, black women in the city gave birth to 24,108 babies, with the abortion um, surpassing live birth by nearly 5,000. African-American women in the city clearly terminated pregnancy more often than they carried babies to term. Black women terminated pregnancy at the rate of 67.3% per 1,000. Did y'all hear me? I said 67.3% per 1,000. Women ages 15 to 49, a rate far higher than any other racial group or ethnic group. We checked the statistics where similar um, previous, um, we checked the statistics were similar the previous year. That means two years in a row. They out... And it was probably, and it probably keep going, right? But so the previous year when African-American women in the city had 24,758 births and underwent 31,328 abortions. Told you black women were committing genocide to us. With that said, I'm out. Y'all know what time it is. With that said, I'm out.